light corn syrup gives these double chocolate brownies a rich gooey texture. They're so moist and chewy, they're best served on their own. To start off, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Reserve one cup of chocolate cake mix from an 18.25 ounce package and one third cup of evaporated milk from a five ounce can. We'll use these ingredients later for our filling. Now we're going to create our base. In a large mixing bowl, use an electric mixer at low speed to beat the remaining cake mix, a half cup or one stick of butter, the remaining evaporated milk, and one cup of chopped walnuts. We'll mix these ingredients just until they're combined. Press the mixture into a greased 13 by 9 inch glass baking dish. Here's an insider's tip. To prevent the mixture from sticking to your fingers, use a greased sheet of wax paper or a greased spatula to press it evenly into the dish. Also, it's best to use a glass baking dish in this recipe for even baking. A metal pan can result in dry edges. Now we'll bake the base of our brownies for 10 minutes. While the base is baking, we'll prepare the filling. In a medium mixing bowl, combine the reserved one cup of cake mix and a third cup of evaporated milk, a half cup of Cairo light corn syrup, a half cup of sugar, and two eggs. Use an electric mixer set at medium speed to beat the filling for three minutes. Beat in one teaspoon of Spice Island's pure vanilla extract. Next, sprinkle one cup of semi-sweet and one cup of white chocolate chips over the partially baked base. Then carefully pour your filling mixture over the chocolate chips. Bake the brownies for 25 to 30 minutes or until they're lightly browned around the edges and just set. The brownies may still appear slightly soft in the center. Let it cool completely. For neat and easy cutting, use a greased plastic knife. Personalize this recipe by using any combination of your favorite chocolate chips, as long as it totals two cups.